And thank you, and, and welcome back again. Uh, we recently did a video, uh, uh, several videos, one about public sector collective bargaining, and another one was about the conflict, whether it was union busting or whether it was uh, an attempt to restore budgets and fiscal soundness in the states that was leading to restrictions on uh, labor unions. But we want to talk about something else right now. It's sort of like, I don't know, political theory or social theory. It's about the different kinds of people who are committed to lives of public service and those who become involved in lives of, of public uh, a public enterprise who become teachers, policemen. Uh, these are really very different uh, uh, kinds of people from the ones who run small businesses. And what's happening in the country today with some of these clashes is a clash between uh, the entrepreneurial uh, person who you know wants to run his own business, uh, sees the government as something of a burden, and and wants to be unfettered uh, by these systems. And people who are basically, uh, although bureaucratic maybe is too strong a word, basically uh, group oriented and basically see the power of groups and the ability of, of social enterprise to change a society. And in a certain way, both of these groups have good things to say. Remember that between the, uh, starting in the 1950s, uh, the, all the state colleges and universities that provide education to most Americans uh, expanded themselves greatly and changed the face and the future of this country. Uh, most people are still educated in public schools. Uh, most people still rely upon police and fire uh, for, uh, for, uh, uh, for protection. There is a place for public enterprise. The problem is that the people who believe in like these social institutions and uh, have, speak an entirely different language uh, come uh, from uh, a different kind of background from those who are the independent entrepreneurial people who are the backbone of small and medium-sized business. And while for years there were uh, political institutions and processes in the political parties that would intermediate between them, uh, when the Republican Party took a swing uh, to, you know, to, to, uh, to the right, and the Democratic Party took a swing uh, to the left. Uh, there weren't any more institutions to mediate between these two uh, different kinds of people or to regulate or control uh, and moderate uh, the, po the policies of the government. Uh, so what happened is the parties begin to fragment uh, into uh, extreme, and what we've witnessed uh, in the country is something of our own personal uh, societal and financial tower of Babel in which we are unable to uh, uh, talk to each other and arrive at sound policies. Uh, if the country is to recover, it's not just a matter of ado adopting Doctrine A on the right or Doctrine B on the left. It's a matter of rediscovering the community that is America, someplace in the center or someplace between them, and piecing together that society that functions so well for the better part of the 20th century and bring us back so that we together face the problems that we have and not be fighting each other all the time. Thank you.